Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now this video, I'm going to show you my way in extending my Wi-Fi signal at home. Before I start off with this upgrade, okay, there are two criteria. First criteria, I have this port called RJ11. This is actually the RJ11 port. One upstairs, another one downstairs. Normally, it will be placed somewhere around the fiber optic port or the antenna area. Okay, definitely you have this. Second criteria is I'm not using this for telephone purpose. Then continue watching this video. How do I do it? I hope it helps you in extending your Wi-Fi signal. There are lots of Wi-Fi blind spots, especially in first floor. Upgrade my current RJ11 port into RJ45. Now, currently, in current infrastructure, it's actually connected to here, to here. Okay, they are connected by using this data cable, Cat5 E cable, two pairs of wire being used for telephone. There are a total of eight, four pairs of wires in this Cat5 E standard cables. Okay. So it's good enough for me to upgrade into RJ45. So this is an example of RJ45 on your left hand side. This RJ45 port can be used to connect into a router. Now, how does the current infrastructure work at home? Currently, to put it into a layman term, let me know in the comment if I explain it wrongly. But in order for many people to understand how does it work, I have summarized it as following. First, in order for us to connect internet, we need to have a modem. A modem is analogy to a warehouse like you buy online. You have the warehouse, where this warehouse is a modem. Warehouse is connected to the web. There are lots of supplier. They are going to send their puzzle here. In the warehouse this is my warehouse warehouse is my modem warehouse modem is connected to a router it's analogy to a post office where post office you have a lot of postman postman to help send puzzle to the user with a unique address and that is called Wi-Fi okay this is my Wi-Fi so you have first this one here is my warehouse is the modem Modem is going to send the puzzle out to the post office, which is the router. Router is going to send your puzzle to you. Say, me, I'm here, first floor, with my mobile phone to receive my puzzle with an ID. Okay, So if I were to be downstairs, I'm happily receive my puzzle, which is my Wi-Fi signal. When I was here in first floor, so sad that I can't receive my Wi-Fi signal because the Wi-Fi signal it will be either being bounced off or it's being absorbed by the building material. So you can never hardly reach it. So what I'm going to do here in this video is how about I set up another post office up here, meaning if I change this port of RJ11, I change it into RJ45, meaning, meaning I'm going to remove it, put it down here, remove it, put it down here. But you still remember, we still have eight wire in the cable. So I'm going to place RJ45 port to here. And the good news is, now, behind this plate, I only use four, two pairs of wire for first port and another pair of wire for second port. Now, this is the close-up view for the RJ45 port and this is the network punch-down tool that I use and this is actually the scissors. Let me face the front. I prefer this type of uh, port this RJ45 port, okay, it comes with actually 
8 terminal and the cover and the cover will always make sure the cable is pressed against the terminal the label they are always A and B okay in Malaysia we are using the B standard meaning for this terminal this side is the green solid green this side is the the second one is actually the green white wire so in order for this port to make this port as a data transfer port so you need the B green and B orange now how to insert a wire let's for example I don't use all eight so let's say for example if it's, it were to be a blue okay I do not have a blue but let's say if there's any wire I want to insert it now this type of wire you find that the terminal is at an angle it increases the surface area so the contact area is larger compared to those flat one okay it's okay to be like this form you just need to insert it make it longer it's all right okay it's okay to be longer okay it's okay to be longer because it comes with the scissors okay then this scissors face outwards okay so convenient that this tool is capable to press it inwards so make sure it's flat along this line and then this is the cutter so I press it in okay it's been cut off that's how it looks like you see that it's inserted into the terminal if you have inserted wrongly it comes with a tool at the side with a hook is to hook it up okay if it's not right I just pull it out very useful tool to insert the cable to the right place so for data cable all you need is the green the green and the orange once you've done carry in it's nicely I turn it to two parts next would be to fix the parts onto the face plate and then uh, remove the cover so that I will able to fix this face plate onto the wall so what I'm going to do next is I am going to connect a data cable LAN cable into the router here and then I'm going to connect this into another post office meaning I set up a second post office yeah which I don't call this a router anymore I call it an access point these days the device is so smart that I just need to flip a switch and this router will turn into an access point it's a 5G access point will send out the Wi-Fi to me and happily I receive Wi-Fi in first floor and that's no more blind spot in second floor Okay, so what I did was I actually upgrade the RJ11 port into RJ45 port. Now, one important question. How do you know you have blind spot at home? I mean, you have Wi-Fi blind spot at home. So I'm going to show you this apps. What you can do is you can download these free apps into your mobile phone and then you connect it to your Wi-Fi and then all you need to do is to bring your mobile phone around your house at different corner and find out if the download speed in terms of in terms of megabyte per second it drops so if the graph shows that it's a drop in terms of signal then you will have a blind spot and then once you perform this upgrade by upgrading the RJ11 port into RJ45 port which I've seen in this video earlier and I show you how to do the wiring if you've done this upgrade and then you bring your mobile phone again up to the same spot and check if the data or check if this Wi-Fi signal will have increased or decreased if it has decreased then meaning the connection is not correct or you have a bad connection most of the time the signal the Wi-Fi strength 
at first floor or second floor would be by far increase a lot if you have a 5G access point or a router okay and that's basically all about it if this is your first time watching my video kindly subscribe to my channel press on the bell button two times so that you get notified of my new video it's free and uh, lastly I appreciate your thumbs up until then see you in my next video bye